stop using CapCut. I know it's your favorite editor. I'm gonna tell you why you need to stop using it. I am on my way to the pool, but I cannot go into this pool without telling you why you need to stop using CapCut and what you should be using instead. There has been updates to CapCut's privacy policy. We usually just press okay, you check the box and continue on. But I noticed that every single time that I was editing a video, it said publish. I looked into the privacy policy. You should read it for yourself, but let me give you a super quick breakdown of what the new privacy policy states. Here's the gist of it. They can pretty much do whatever they want with your content. You are giving it CapCut worldwide, non-exclusive, royalty-free, sub-licensable, transferable, perpetual license to use, alter any of your content. So your photos, your collages, your templates, all of that, basically it's theirs. You also have pretty much no say over your own voice, over your own face. They can shut down your account at any time, no matter what, even if you paid in full, which a lot of companies can do that. But another alarming thing, you have the responsibility for or anything that happens on their terms. So let me explain. If CapCut gets sued over your content, you are the responsible one and you have to figure it out when it comes to legal fees. What? For example, you know some of the templates have like famous person song. If you get sued over that, it's your responsibility, not CapCut. It's tripping. They can change prices anytime, any features, any of that stuff. You know, a lot of companies can do that. You should be concerned. Not only are your creations not actually yours anymore, you're losing control over your voice, your face in any of their ads, any of their AI made things, and you're consenting to it. Definitely privacy invasion, okay? Another one that you should probably not use too. I also looked up Splice. Some people think that is user friendly, but it does collect a fair amount of information. And it says, if you're comfortable with standard arbitration, data sharing, and possible voice print use, then you should be okay. So what I'm sticking with is InShot. A couple years back about InShot and how simple it was before CapCut was popping and amazing editing, it has the same thing. Probably the only thing that doesn't have is the templates. I would switch to InShot, just as simple, especially if you're just quickly chopping up or editing. Another one, if you are going to be using it on Instagram anyway, is the edits app from Instagram since you're already using it. Last, but definitely not least, is Descript. I have so many videos about. Descript is one of those that you do have to have it on desktop. I will link a few that I have below. It's so simple and it is a safe thing to use. You get to retain the ownership of your entire video, every single one of them. There's no surprise scanning. You can back up local files. So a lot of the files that I have on here, this computer is always backed up with 100 files. It saves it to an automatic cloud. I love it. I get to use literally every part of Descript. Hey, listen, I think my mic went out and uh, we're about to go to the pool, but the whole entire point of this video is that instead of CapCut and Splice, definitely switch over to InShot and Descript. I have so many different videos of Descript. All you have to do is press one button and it takes off all of your ums, ifs, repeat words, silence. And if that's really all you need just to clean everything up, it's the simplest thing. Chop it up and then edit it back up. This will be edited with Descript. So if you wanna try it out, I'll leave a link below but I'll see you in the next video. Bye.